Hello, this is Nora Jarp, and welcome to a Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, guys, I've got the silver in form Kai Kamara. He plays over in the MLS for Sporting Kansas City. His original uh, position for his in form is left midfielder, but I converted him up to left wing to try and get the most out of him in game. He's 6 foot 3. His card face stats are 80 pace, 68 shooting, 64 passing, 74 dribbling, and 75 heading. Freestyle skills and a freestyle weak foot. And he has got 11 goals in 12 games, which is quite a good record. Here you can see the team that I'm playing him in. It's a hybrid which features the N Power League 1, the Barclays Premier League, the Tipper League, in, and of course the MLS. So that's the squad. If you guys want to do a squad builder on this squad, make sure you leave a comment down below. And that could be my Monday's video. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, make sure you let me know. So now we're going to have a look at his in-game stats. You can pause the video if you want to have a look at them in detail um, for yourself. But let's have a look at the key ones I picked out. They are 81 finishing, 87 penalties, 97 jumping, which is crazy, 73 strength, and 82 shot power. His prices are 97k on the Xbox, 49k on the PlayStation 3, and around 66k on the PC. But there aren't too many on the market for each of the platforms, so you could be getting them on a good deal, or you might have to pay a little bit more money. I paid 90k on the Xbox, so I got them quite cheap. So overall, you know, quite expensive, but I'll let you know, guys, if he's worth the coins or not. So let's get into the in-game stats as usual. So firstly, let's have a look at his pace. He is six foot three. His card face stats is 80 pace, and I have to say, I think he felt maybe a little bit slower than that, maybe 78 to 79. And that could be because he is six foot three and very, very tall. I think it might be because he's got the speed dribbler trait, which means he takes a few more touches, which means he does feel a little bit slower. So unfortunately, he doesn't really live up to the 80 pace, but still pretty quick, uh, probably I'd say 78 to 79. So let's go on to his dribbling. Now his dribbling is pretty good. It's not amazing, but not too bad whatsoever. You've got 68 ball control, which is quite good for a silver. 70 curve, which does affect his finesse shot. And also 78 dribbling. Um, his card face stat says lower than the dribbling. So that's quite good. But overall, it wasn't amazing. But it wasn't too bad, as I said. His shot. Now, this is where his card gets amazing. You know, the pace is okay. Dribbling is okay. But his shot. This is unbelievable. He's got 81 finishing in game. It doesn't seem too much but for a silver. That is really, really good. His finesse shot feels unbelievable. 99% of the time it will go in. You just pick up the ball, take a few touches and just finesse it. And because he's a silver, if you use him in a goal team, you might find his finesse shot a bit harder to always get in. But if you play against silver goalkeepers, seriously, the finesse shots will always go. And there you can see just one touch and I don't even need to aim really. I just press, you know, R, B and B and it goes in basically. That's all I need to do because he is so good at finishing. You might not believe me, but I really, really find that his finesse shot is so good and uh, I'm not lying to you when I say that it's one of the best uh, silver finesse shots I've actually experienced on the game, sorry about the train there, but yeah his finesse shot is amazing, his power shot is not too bad, he's got 82 shot power which is pretty good actually, but 64 long shots not too, uh, not too good, so I don't really recommend going for crazy long shots, I had a chance in the first few clips you saw which hit the bar, but anywhere from outside the box I think you've got a good chance of it going in, but also inside the box just around the finesse shots will go and I actually got four goals in one game from just finessing. They can see a good uh, attempt there from a long shot. The keeper did make a good save. He also has got 70 volleys and 87 penalties. Still pretty good stats there on the shooting. And now go and talk about his heading. You might be quite interested in his heading. He's got 97 jumping. That is crazy. You won't even expect that on a crazy gold team this season card. But 97 jumping is very, very good. However, there's a little downside to that. Because he's only got 66 heading accuracy. So sometimes we get a corner hit. This is just a good corner. Look at that. The keeper didn't even move. He's got the power header trait. So the, you know, the headers will have so much power in it. And the keeper couldn't even move. But sometimes, guys, with 66 heading accuracy, the ball will just drift off. It won't always go in. So that is one downside to only having 66 heading accuracy. But overall, guys, when you can jump up that high, it's normally going to go in. So his heading is unbelievable. And that is his best stat in game with a 97 jumping. And his pass guys haven't talked about that that's okay nothing special his work rates are high low which is perfect for you know a left wing player so that's very very nice his weak foot didn't really check on which foot he was actually playing for. don't i'm not really like that i don't try and get him onto his preferred foot but overall i didn't really found that sometimes his shot went too far wide so overall his weak foot was okay 
I'm not a skiller, so I don't really mind not having four star skills, but you guys might. But let's go on to his pros now. He's got good pace, as I said, an amazing finesse shot, okay dribbling, not amazing, but not too bad. And as I said, amazing heading there, great jumping, and overall, one of the best, you know, jumpers you can actually get in game. His cons is only two, which I can really think of. The first is that he plays in for a nation, sorry. Four, which is Sierra Leone, which is a nation you probably haven't even heard of. There's only like seven players in Ultimate Team, so that's one little bad point. Also, it's quite expensive for a silver in form at around 100k on the on the Xbox and a bit lower on the other two platforms. But overall, he is a great player, an amazing finesse shot. Get him for your silver team. If you've got an MLS silver team, get him because he is so good at maybe playing him in a 4 3 2 1 at left forward because he might be a bit more like a striker there. Overall, guys, he is amazing. Thank you very much for watching this player review. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time for some more player reviews. Bye.